Hey guys, this is Chit and welcome to Destiny Chit Chat. This is what's called the top strategy for Oryx hard mode. This strategy has some debate amongst the community as to whether this is a cheese aka cheating. I have my own opinions about it that I'll leave for the end of the video. So let's get to how you do this. I'm going to assume that you have defeated Oryx on normal and are familiar with the new mechanic that has four light eater knights come out diagonally to their respective ogre and attempt to eat the corrupted light. If you did not know this, well, now you do. The idea of the strategy is to outsmart the mechanics of the fight by leaving the ogres alive which stalls the spawn of the light eater knights, therefore avoiding to have to kill them. This goes the same for the vessel who will still be left alive if you so choose. Once the ogres are down, you have to immediately detonate the bombs before the knights or vessel eat them. Which is easier than it sounds because they're pretty slow. Other problems will take priority when doing this, so let's start with the rolls. The Relic Runner. The Relic Runner remains mostly unchanged, but the change is nonetheless important. Because when you finally grab the Relic, you have to get past two low health ogres that will be between you and the vessel. Once you get the shield, then you're fine, and the ogres cannot kill you. Getting to the vessel will be the tough part. The other thing to watch out for is the ogres shooting up at you while you're jumping to get the relic since they will be left alive. Therefore I don't recommend the lowest level to be the relic runner because they can't sustain the damage. Next you have the platformers. In this strategy the only thing you have to do is hide on the platform. Yes that means you do not damage ogres at all. Simply get to the farther side of your platform away from the ogre that spawns next to you and crouch along with not shooting the ogre that spawns across from you either. It almost guarantees that someone will be killed by an ogre since they are supposed to be left alive and will be roaming around the area freely. Leave the ogres to the ogre people. There will be two people on top of the daughter's tower when dealing with ogres. I recommend two titans with blessing, so that way they can use their touch of malices effectively. Now normally people are assigned to platforms, you can still do that if you choose. However, this means that one of the ogre people up top will always be different since Oryx goes to different platforms. So the second person may not be a titan, therefore no bubble. This is fine because you can just use snipers and heavy, but as a tip, if you want to have people with fixed roles, such as always having two titans on top, then instead of assigning platforms, just assign numbers. Let me explain. Assign people to be first, second, and third. You do this so that no matter where Oryx goes, the person that's first will always jump from the top of the daughter's tower to the whatever platform Oryx is. Then the second person will jump to the second platform required, again from the top of the daughter's tower, then the final third person. If everyone is comfortable with counterclockwise, then this method is very easy to adopt and keeps everyone in fixed roles throughout the fight. Now for the rotation of the strategy. Start the fight like normally. If you so choose, you can get the Taken to group up for a Shadow Shot for orbs. This is not needed, but it helps. Once Oryx slams his fist and people begin jumping on their platforms, they will hide from the Ogres while the Ogre people get them to at least a third left of their health. Once the Relic Runner grabs the Relic, everyone jumps up to the Daughter's Tower opposite of Oryx and help with any Ogres that still need to be lowered. Once Oryx slams his fist, everyone ignores everything else to damage him. When he's staggered, then finish off the ogres, leaving the bombs behind ready to detonate. The person whose bomb is the farthest away, count down from three so that everyone detonates at the same time. The relic runner jumps down to the ground middle, once everyone sets off their bombs and is to keep Oryx's chest open so that the bombs do full damage. Everyone runs back and helps damage Oryx. Everything else for the fight is the same as normal, so just rinse and repeat. And that's it for the strategy, guys. Hope this helps people out. Now, as for the debate, I've been over the forums and there are some people out there that feel that this is a cheese or cheating because you're not doing the fight as intended. This reminds me very much of back in the Crota days when Crota hard mode first came out and no one could beat them. And on normal, there are two boomer knights up at the top and once they're killed, a melee knight comes out and jumps down and he's very weak. Uh, but on hard mode, if you were to kill the knights, a wizard actually comes out. And during that fight, you don't heal your health. So that was a big deal to a lot of players. Eventually, a strategy evolved that moved the team, the entire team, from the left side staircase to the middle window sill. And that became middle strategy. And again, for weeks all over the forums, people were shouting that this was a cheat, that you're bypassing you know, mechanics of the raid... A lot of people felt that 
that was going to change. And it didn't. Bungie actually didn't do anything about it. They, I guess they felt that it was clever. And it is clever. You're just simply outsmarting some things. And that's my opinion about it, that I don't feel that this is a straight up cheese. You know, people used to pull out their Ethernet cords out of their modems or routers to get Crota to stay on his knee. And then you all he had to do was sword him for as long as you want. He didn't do anything after that. So that's a that's a cheese. That's cheating. This is just simply outsmarting the mechanics, very similar to the Crota raid. It, to me, it's a tactic. Of course, only time will tell if Bungie actually patches this or not, but um, I don't know. History has shown that I think Bungie's going to leave it like this because it is pretty clever. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is an actual cheese? Do you think it's cheating, or do you think it's just you know clever players outsmarting the mechanics? I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.